Hello Aces, I'm coming back with a brand new video for you. So as you see from the title, I am going to be doing a flat twist. This will not be a tutorial. I am just going to be showing you the products that I'm using, also showing you my technique. However, it's not a tutorial. So if you are interested in this video, then keep watching. All right, so I have already deep conditioned my hair and I did sleep with it overnight. And I have it wrapped in a satin bow. So I'm just gonna take that satin bow out. And here is what my hair is looking like. All right. So because like I said in my um, previous videos that my hair loves moisture, I'm actually going to keep this conditioning mask in and go ahead and style my hair. So the two products that I'm gonna use for styling today is the My L Organics Twisting Souffle. And this is from their pomegranate and honey line, which in the product says that it's a semi deep definition product enhances curls with semi-deep definition with intense hydration for thick, curly type 4 hair. And the consistency of this product is thick. It's a very thick cream. So that will be the first product I'm going to use and then I'm going to top it with the main choice 24 karat ancient Egyptian line. It's called the Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote, 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel, infused with biotin and vitamin A, B, C, and D. And it says, um, the calm oil infusion with Kalahari oil, Olister oil, Mongogo oil, and Baobab. And I do want this to be added on the top for hold. It is a very pretty gold. And it's loose, but it's still pretty thick. So I think this will be a good topper. So my hair is already parted a little bit, but I am gonna use a white tooth comb with the rat tail. And I'm gonna part my hair in four sections.
All right, so now I'm ready to style. So I'm going to switch over to voiceover to kind of just talk you guys through what I'm doing and then play some music for you. So stay tuned. All right, so now that I have all four sections separated and combed through, I am going to take this subsection and part it in half. As you can see, my hair is very thick, very full. So it's going to be best that I actually take this section and then um, part it in half so that I'll have two layers for my flat twist. And once you have your part, again, it does not have to be perfect at all because, of course, um, after it's dried and ready to wear, you're going to untwist it and wear it big and fluffy um, with the defined afro. So all I'm doing now is clipping my hair away and I'm ready to flat twist the back. So take a brush like a brush with a lot of teeth in it. Um, I have a dimming brush, so that's what I'm using. But this is to smooth out the hair so that once you begin to style and begin to do your twist, you want your hair to be as smooth as possible. So it makes it a lot easier to um, get those two strand twists going. It's also working in the product that's been sitting on my hair. So I think I probably dropped a clip. Um, anyway, <laughs> so getting the actual um, section that you want, like part the size that you want. So I'm going to go from like a medium, small section. And then put the other hair away. Because once you start the two strand twist, you don't want your hair to be inside of the twist um, that it's not supposed to be in. Now, the two products I showed you in the beginning, I'm starting with the cream first, the twisting souffle, just adding that to the roots and then down to my tips. Just smoothing the product in. I'm not raking it, I'm just smoothing it in. And then I'm also gonna take that twisting um, gel the glistening 24 karat from the main choice and top that and then brush it down or brush it all in so for me it's easier to do a flat twist than it is to braid again this is in the tutorial so you can't really see the exact angle to show you how to twist but all I'm doing as I go down is grabbing another section or another piece of hair and then wrapping it over the other. So you're only using two pieces of hair. Adding a piece and then wrapping it over the other. And then once I get down to my ends, I am going to apply tension. And this helps to keep your hair um, uniformed. And then also get that brush and brush the ends and this moves down the hair so that you don't have to have any type of uh, hairs that aren't in uniform or formation if you want. <laughs> and then once you get to the bottom, um, I do a finger, core, a finger curl and this helps to keep those ends curly because you don't want to keep, you don't want your ends straight. So go ahead and curl those with your finger. And then take that section that you put away and then part another small to medium section. I'm doing about a medium section. I'm not really going that small, um, honestly, because medium section is going to save me time. And I had a visitor come up there asking for stuff <laughs> during my video. Anyway. So again, use those two products, the cream and then the gel. Make sure you smooth all the product in. And this just helps it to actually penetrate in your hair better. And use your brush 
and the brush evenly distributes the product. And starting at the very top, again, just twisting, starting with one piece of hair, and then as you go down, just grab an additional piece of hair and twist it over. Continuing this all the way down. So that's why it's a flat twist because you are flat twisting it to your scalp. And then after you get to the bottom, then you'll two strand twist again. Also apply attention is helping to make sure that the twist stays as uniform as possible. I always talk about uniform and keeping the twist tight. And if your hair um, is being pulled from another twist, just go back to the other twist and just kind of do like a finger curl or a finger um, twirl to keep that twist uniform. And here's the last section I'll show you guys, just that final piece. Adding the two products. I definitely recommend two very hydrating products. Again, um, my hair loves moisture, so both products are very moisturizing. And then I did leave my hair mask on my hair as well. So twisting again. This time I twisted opposite direction. Um, for me, I think this will just give my hair more fluff in the back. So it doesn't look too separated. Like one side of my hair is going one way and the other side is going the other way. So I made sure that last twist was going the opposite direction just to give it more fluff in the back. And you'll see what I mean by that at the end of the video when I show my final results. And then make sure you're always taking care of those ends. All right. So far, I love what I see. The back is completely done. So here is a visual just to show you the back. All right, now I will show you the front part. Um, I'm going to actually flat twist these down because I want my hair to be going this way. So let's get started. So take your wide tooth comb and just comb out the section that has been sitting.
Then clip the rest away. And put a little bit of the twisting souffle and a little bit of the 24 karat gel from root to tip and smooth. I actually want to twist it going away from my face.
All right, so all twists have been installed. I'm gonna let this air dry for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to sit under the dryer for about two hours and watch me some Disney Plus and enjoy some old school cartoons that I used to enjoy back in the day. I mean, we're quarantined or social distancing, so why not? But I'll show you all the results once I'm done. Putting on my neck pillow. Okay, where's the truck? What a camera. Must be in that truck right there. All right, Aces, y'all, what's up? I'm back. It's been about three days that I've left these flat twists in my hair. So I'm going to take off my bonnet. And there are a few flakes when I take that bonnet off. And I put a little hair jewel in there because I had to wear the actual twist out for a while. So close up, you all can see the flakes. <laughs> but I'm still gonna go ahead and take it down. All right, so I'm using the here we go. Myel Organics uh, Sweet Almond Oil. Mint Almond Oil. Let me just put a little in my hand. And I'm going to start in the back because this is actually where I started doing the twist first. Uh-oh. This is what we're looking like. And I think the flaking is from keeping that leave on, I'm sorry, that deep conditioning on because I could tell that my hair was not absorbing it. And I could tell that the mask was too much for my hair um, in order for it to penetrate, for it to stay on my hair as a leave-in. It needed to be rinsed out um, and I could have gone in with a lighter leave-in with the other two styling products. So I'm going to show you if you could see on the camera some of the flakes. Ooh, I can see them. Chat. 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 <laughs> These flakes, honey. So this is goes to show that although I've been doing my own hair for over two years, two and a half years now, that I still get fails sometimes using certain products or certain techniques. And again, this was not a tutorial, but it was more showing you my technique on flat twist. So sometimes... I don't get the start the same results that I that I'm actually thinking I'm going to get. There is the curl. All right, let me speed the rest up for you and then we'll come back and talk about the final results. All 
All right, Aces, so here is the final look. My hair has really grown so much since the last time I did a flat twist. So I really like the volume and the flakes are still falling out of my hair. However, my hair is super soft. It feels really good and I like it. It's like a sexy curl. So if you like this video and you are interested in trying a, a flat twist on your hair, comment below. Let me know what products you think you're going to use and um, how you like this hairstyle that I did for you guys. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Drop a comment if you got any questions or hit the um, share button if you want to send this to somebody that may be able to use it. Love you guys.